All right, we're back. It's been 15 minutes, so we're ready to set the set points here on this controller. Uh, first thing that we do, obviously, is we take a uh, sample of the water and we run it through our sp spin touch here. And we get the readings so we know what to do with the controller and how to uh, set it. Uh, with that said, um, if you can tell, I've changed more festive um, because I'm going to be the producer on this and we have Justin go ahead and take over um, because I play a tech on TV that doesn't necessarily mean I'm a tech. So Justin, you mind go ahead and taking the reins? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure your feeders are unplugged. And we got a 5 and a 7.2 on our test results. We want to try and set a 3 to 12 o'clock on chlorine. So we want to put our five somewhere up here. It's important to remember that these are 22 millivolts each. These notches on a red board, 44 on a blue board. These are not, these don't correspond directly to like half points or whole points of chlorine. So we're going to guess and put our, our 7.5 up here. And to do that, First, we put our knob where we want to put our seven. I mean, our 5.0 on our chlorine. We got a 5.0 on the chlorine, and I want to put it up here. So I'm going to adjust the screw on the left until the bleach pump, this, the ORP feed, turns off and on right here. So that's our five on the chlorine. That's our 790 on the ORP. Since these are 22 millivolts each, that's our 770. That's our 750. That's our set point. We set our set point at 750. On the pH side, these are pretty much pretty close to uh, tenths of a point of pH. And we want to set a 7.5 at 12 o'clock. So I want to put my 7.2 down here. 7.432. And to put my 7.2 right there, First I set my knob there, and then I turn this screw until the pH pump turns off and on. Right there. So that's my 7.2 on the pH. This should be a 7.345. Now that I've set my set points, it's safe to plug the, uh, the pumps back in. And that's it. We're done.